Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette. I thought I would do a little introduction just to say who I am. I like to do vlogs and what I eat in a day. I like to document my weight loss journey, which I have not done in a while, but that's coming back um, on like a quarterly basis just because I feel like that's healthier for me boundary wise and i'm really trying to live a sustainable lifestyle as best as i can making small changes which will hopefully lead to bigger changes as best as i can i know i'm not going to be perfect at it but yeah and also just travel too like i love traveling although i have not done that consistently the past few years we all know why but now i'm kind of starting to get back into it so yeah that's a little bit about me and my channel if you're new here i would love 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 to see you come back so please do subscribe if you like the vibe if you like my channel like me <laughs> yeah i would love to have you part of this community here and also if you like any part of this video please do please please do give it a thumbs up and comment down below say hi i say hi back and yeah so to start off this morning i didn't i had plans of like oh i'm gonna do all this stuff today and then i woke up and that just went out the window so i had my little breakfast burrito that i got myself from whole food peruvian burrito from sweet earth and it has goat cheese in it which is the reason why i get it because your girl is lactose intolerant and then i finished my plant-based pork rinds yeah it's kind of like i'm having a vegan day but i put chick-fil-a sauce on the burrito which i don't know if chick-fil-a sauce is completely it contains eggs so not plant-based <laughs> I usually put this or Trader Joe's Magnifi sauce um, on the burrito or sometimes I'll have it on hard-boiled eggs the Magnifi sauce and it's so so delicious but yeah I woke up this morning and I was just like I don't really want to do all the things that I thought I wanted to do today. I just want to take a day to relax and not put a lot of pressure on myself to do all of the things. So that is exactly what I'm doing. Today is going to be a pretty chill day. You're just going to spend the day with me, essentially. I don't know what I'm going to get up to up until four because i have plans at four o'clock with some friends i went to steamboat with some friends and um we're having a little get together at one of their houses and just to, like hang out and stuff like that so like some post-trip hangs <laughs> which is nice and i'm looking forward to that i said i would bring dessert and i'm gonna probably i was thinking of like making something i feel like i should make something because i haven't baked anything in a while like today i've just been like you know be gentle with yourself today also this week i took a break from the gym which has been really nice on this channel i i used to document my weight loss journey that's kind of like how this channel started was just with me documenting my weight loss journey and then i kind of moved into other things of like travel and stuff and i, I knew i didn't want to just like be pigeonholes to one thing i wanted to do a bunch of things because i have a bunch of interests the reason why my channel is no longer focused solely on my weight loss journey as well as the fact that i'm not posting a lot of content regarding my weight loss journey is just that with 2020 and my mental health just truly deteriorating and I wasn't as forthcoming online about it just because like I needed to process it and I was going through it 
like fully going through it and then 2021 was just like me trying to get back on my feet for the longest time to trying to get out of the funk and fog of 2020 and i did that towards the end of 2021 by getting into therapy and finally feeling safe enough to go to the gym and get back into my routines that i had you know pre-pandemic and i got into a place of going to the gym five times a week literally and i even when i started my weight loss journey like several years ago i never fully enjoyed it that much like there's times when i did but not to the extent that i have the past few months i think it was because the past two years has really taken a toll on my body and my mental health i notice it even more now um how essential going to the gym is for me so yeah I took a break this week, um, which was honestly good. And I think, you know, every so often I will take a break, like a week break, just to get give my body rest. Because going to the gym five times a week, although I do enjoy it, I do notice that sometimes I get pretty tired. <laughs> and I don't drink coffee. I have a caffeine sensitivity. So like, you know, matchas and chais are typically where my caffeine comes from because it is a slow and steady burst of caffeine not a burst but like a slow and steady stream of caffeine whereas like coffee caffeine it just gives it to you in a burst and then you crash at least i do and also i feel very jittery i get caffeine anxiety who knew this was going to be like a little mental health talk but this is like a catch-up you know like it's a little it's a little catch-up moment with you guys but yeah so I took a break it was really good i'm excited to get back in the routine on monday today is saturday i really want to go to this bakery but i would have to order in advance and i don't want to i kind of just want to go and hope and pray that it's not as busy I am finally getting ready. I'm gonna look into the viewfinder because my mirror is still kind of foggy, to be quite honest with you, from the hot shower. Oh, now it's defogging so I can see. Honestly, all I do with my eyebrows is just brush them up at this point. And a little bit of liner and mascara. So I'm gonna do that right now. I feel like I don't breathe when I put on mascara and liner. I'm going to use the Clean Reserve perfume in the scent Rain. It's honestly my favorite one. My grandma, I don't know why I shook it. That was weird. I've never shaken this bottle. Okay. My grandma was very adamant about me getting perfume. She's like, you don't need body spray you need perfume and i ended up finding clean several years ago at sephora and they're one of the only ethical and sustainable perfume brands that i knew at the time as well as clean like clean ingredients and it's honestly the only brand of perfume that i wear there's lots of other brand perfumes that i'm like ooh, those are nice but I don't go through perfume that quickly. I only spray a few sprays <laughs> and it lasts me a long time. It costs, it's not cheap, I will say, but for me, it lasts me like almost a year. And you honestly don't need that much. I definitely sprayed a little bit too much today, but um, I get, like it smells really good. I love the scent of it. They have other scents that they've come out with since launching and They've done really, really well and um, with a lot of their scents. They have like this citrus one called Fresh Blossom, um, I think, but it smells really good. And I have gotten a lot of compliments every time I wear it. They have scents for 
every type of person, but it just like makes me think like if I, cause I wasn't so fussed about like putting myself together and dressing well or, um, or even like smelling nice. I mean, not really smelling nice. Like I wanted to smell good, but like my grandma has always been someone who wants the best for me. And so like I would wear body sprays from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret because that's what she would buy too. And I thought of that as perfume. She's like, no, you need real perfume. Something that's gonna last you all day, like hours and hours, not like a body spray. And I don't know, I think it's just really important to have people in your corner, family related or not, that just wanna see you win and do really well. And my grandma is definitely one of those people who is constantly just wanting what's best for me and pushing me to want that for myself. And it's just like awesome to like know that she's in my corner, know that she has my back and loves me the way that she does and yeah, just promotes me being the best version of myself because it is essential and I hope that you have that, um, have someone in your corner who's like that too. Um, but this also like, I was thinking in the shower, I'm having like a lot of deep thoughts here, but I was thinking in the shower um, just now, like I don't even recognize the per. I mean, I do recognize the person who I was, I was that person, but like in college and just a little bit after college, like I'm completely different in my thought process, the things that I would say and do, like I was thinking back to some of the things that I said and did when I was in college and a few years out of college. And I was just like, those are things that would never come out of my mouth now, like ever. I would really think, I would really just not think before I talked. And I thought that was like a good thing. Cause I was like, yeah, I process while I'm talking, but it's also just like, no, sometimes you should think before you talk because you should be purposeful and intentional. At least that's what I want for myself. And so, it's just interesting to think back on who I was then and how so many people say, you really discover who you are in college. I feel like you don't, like I agree and I disagree. I disagree more than I agree with that statement because I think you can discover who you are in college, but you're always evolving and changing. But I think when you're in forced community, <laughs> which school environments to me are forced community. Like you have to find your community there. Whereas when you're outside of school, you have to like find your community in the world. Not just at work because not everyone at work is gonna be your friend. Not everyone in your department is gonna be your friend. You don't have that forced community because everybody's adults and they typically have their own community from childhood, from their neighborhood, from you know places that they've gone to that are in their neighborhood like they start developing and forming community there and i feel like you don't really find yourself there at least i didn't i didn't know who i was in college and i didn't know who i was fully in like after a few years after college i feel like in your late 20s early 30s that's those are your more formative like you're getting more solidified in who you are as a port as a person your college years and your high school years are for sure formative as well as like elementary like school years are definitely formative for you but i feel like your late 20s early 30s those are the years that are you're a little bit more solidified in who you actually are um and you know like who you want to be and versus who you actually are and trying to line those things up as best as possible and so it's just interesting i'm just like i'm glad i didn't get stuck in my mindset of who I was in college and a little bit outside of college because I was in forced communities. I was still around people who I went to college with. And then as people started moving away, started you know getting married, having kids, um, you know, things shifted. And I am not who I was. And my thought process is not the same. How I talk even is not the same. I mean, even in the last two years of being in this pandemic, like, I've changed yet again and I'm sure so many of us have but yeah it's just interesting to think about who I was before and see so much growth happen between that time and now and knowing how much more growth is gonna happen so all that to say is 
I hope you have people in your corner who want to see you win and promote you to be the best version of yourself, as well as knowing that like growth and change is ever like that's the only constant in our lives is change and so like you are not going to be who you were yesterday and people shouldn't expect you to be the same as the same person you were when you were in high school or college or a few years out of college or in your 20s or in your 30s like you're constantly changing as a person and evolving and becoming better and so i know that's like a good thing like to change and to learn and grow like that is so constant i am wearing the uniqlo heat tech turtleneck and i'm wearing a target dress that i got last summer it's the universal thread line which is the sustainable line um at target i'm wearing my uniqlo socks and my new balance 550s in yellow and that is my outfit. I also think I'm going to wear my green bag that I got in one of my All True subscription boxes because I think the neutrals will just kind of go. All right, just finished up at Twist and Shout. Got the Frank Ocean record. And now I'm trying to figure out a coffee shop to go to. But I think I just wanna go somewhere that I can get like a little pastry and a matcha. I have to say, today is turning out to be such a great day. Started off a little iffy, not gonna lie, because I was just very reluctant to do anything, but so far I've just done what I've wanted to do, and I feel really good about that. It's been a spontaneous day. Um, Wait, a liqueur, madame? A chartreuse? A crème de menthe? That scared me. Mrs. Audubon shook her head vigorously. I am currently listening to Death on the Nile. It's for a book club that I'm part of. And so far, I'm on chapter three and I feel very lost. I don't fully get it. I feel like we've just had an introduction of characters and it feels as though I should just know what's going on but I don't <laughs> so I'm a little lost but I'm hoping as I continue it gets easier to understand but anyways I went to the Tokyo Premium Bakery the Earl Grey as well as the Almond Croissant was delicious they typically make their matcha lattes with condensed milk and because I said I wanted it with oat milk she was like, oh, do you want me to switch out the condensed milk and I can just add vanilla uh, to keep it dairy free? And I was like, yes, please, thank you so much. They were so kind, so nice, but yes, it was perfect. Today's honestly turning out to be like a slow, busy day, which I don't mind. Also, I'm just loving my outfit today. I feel like I look real cute. <laughs> I'm wearing like a spring summer dress right now, but I just put a turtleneck underneath and I'm wearing sneakers with it and it's working for me, girl. Along with these glasses, ugh. These glasses are from Diff, D-I-F-F, -F, and they, every glasses that you like, sunglasses or regular glasses, every purchase that you make helps to support someone who needs, you know, in need who needs glasses, essentially. 
Um, so I like that they are about making a difference with each purchase. I bought these sunglasses, this one and my black one, several years ago. And they come with cases and they've done really well and I get compliments on them all the time. They're good quality, I will say. But yeah, I think now I am going to head to the mall. I kind of just want to look around, you know, see what they got going. It's not, like, it's not that I need to buy anything because buying that record was not cheap. I'm not going to lie to you, but, you know, it's, it's worth it in the long run because the Frank Ocean... Frank Ocean, any album, is worth it to me because truly, I would say him and Matt Corby are two artists that like I love every single song. Every single song. Granted, I haven't listened to Matt Corby's like recent albums if he's put anything out because I've really been in like an R&B kick for such a long time. I feel like in college I was really into folk and that type of vibe and Matt Corby really fits that but now since getting out of that like Frank Ocean I listen to Masego, Sango, Sir, Kendrick Lamar, um, Lucky Day, Jasmine Sullivan, Ari Lennox, Summer Walker, um, there's so many. <laughs> There's so many people that I listen to. Um, Xavier Omar. Like, I listen to a lot of music kind of like that. It's very chill, but R&B, you know, them good vibes. I listen to a lot of music that's like that. And I think that really reflects my personality. <laughs> Been home for a minute, honestly. I'm going to take my mic off. And I'm going to head to this barbecue session not a session barbecue party with the people of Steamboat I honestly don't know what to call it a Steamboat reunion that's what we'll call it but yeah today's been a pretty good day if you can hear the fan because I'm hot, as I've said before. But yeah, today's been a really good day. It's been slow and steady. My tulips look so nice. But yeah, I'm about to head out probably in half an hour to go to Golden and do the steamboat reunion. I'm bringing crumble cookie. The flavors this week are... Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna continue cooling off probably just gonna lay on the floor honestly with the fan on me because I'm just a, a little bit hot because it's 60 degrees and this is a lot I was gonna wear a short sleeve shirt but it's dirty so I didn't end up wearing it <sighs> anyways I'm probably gonna leave my camera here just because Y'all know I get shy when vlogging in front of people that I don't know that well, as well as in front of people that I do know well. I just get really shy because <laughs> I'm just like, they're judging me. But then people like, I feel like if people know that I have a YouTube channel, I feel more comfortable because they know what I'm doing. But for people who don't, they're just like, I don't want to have to explain it. <laughs> I just need to be more confident. Anyways, I'll check in with y'all later. Don't be alarmed. It's a peel. <laughs> it's not blood, I promise. I'm doing the ordinary AHA BHA peel, peel on my face. Haven't done it in a while. Have a few spots that I feel like are coming up. And yeah, thought I would just do that. And 
yeah, the, it was great getting together with everyone. Um, we had burgers, brats, brats, however you say it, and then the crumble cookies went down without a hitch. People were a big fan. I've been listening to the Nile, Death on the Nile. It's it's making more sense as I've gone on in the book. Also, the audiobook is so good because the person who's narrating it, he does the different accents and he just does them so seamlessly. It is insane and it just makes it more enjoyable and sometimes like you catch on to the humor, I feel like, a lot more quickly. And yeah, like just with... <laughs> how sometimes things are pronounced or how fast he's speaking or yeah the narrator's really good for death on the nile um but yeah i think i'm on chapter 10 now i'm also one of those people who listens to audiobooks on a faster speed but yeah it's it's interesting nothing's like happened yet i mean we're getting a lot of backstory where the, the foundation is being laid but i'm liking it so far and then i also started when i was at the book not at the bookshop when i was at the coffee shop i started reading the second book of the witcher series i've read like the pro log it's like the short stories before you start the series i read those so technically I'm on like my fifth book, I think, but I'm on the second book of the actual main series, The Time of Contempt. And yeah, I'm like 23 pages in. I kept getting distracted when I was at the coffee shop because I was people watching. But I have like five more minutes, four more minutes actually, of this mask on. So I'll check in with you later. But I'm gonna listen to my book for the next four minutes. All right, skin is back to normal. But yeah, you can kind of see I got some like fun little spots starting to kind of come up. Um, I feel like I'm getting more moles. Yep, all of the moles, all of the moles. I mean, this one I've always had, but still, yeah, getting way more spots right here probably because i had a lot of uh sweets today with the allemand croissant and the croissant and the earl grey and then the matcha lots but anyways it's in my skincare routine pretty quick and brush my teeth i mean i'm showered i'm ready for bed clearly Bed is so cozy right now. So comfy. But thank you for spending the day with me and seeing what I got up to on a slow day of doing what I wanted. I feel very accomplished. I'm so excited that I have a Frank Ocean record. I am going to continue reading and then go to bed and get ready for church tomorrow. So I'm going to love and leave you here and yeah if you made it this far please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i'm doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay true stay kind and stay laughing and i'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.